What's up folks? Dave Mate, going back to the roots, backyard, cold weather, winter 2012, Mate in my hand, keeping it simple baby. Just drinking the holy herb, the holy holly herb, salud. Hey Rico, drinking some mission in the morning, because in the morning, always drink mission. <laughs> infomercial. So what I want to talk about today, I've just been thinking about the circle, the circle, the circle. The Mate Circle. Now, three and a half years ago, when I first went to Argentina, literally the first day I was introduced to Mate, uh, some nice Argentine girls who were living at uh, my dorms, they invited me into this gathering. They were just sitting on the floor, and they were sharing mate. I didn't really know what mate was at the time. I think I heard about it a year earlier, just on Wikipedia, and I did a little research, but I thought nothing of it. Then, the first day in Argentina, I started drinking it. And it was interesting. I liked it. It was hot, but I liked it. Then, throughout the forthcoming months, I started to be invited to more and more gatherings, to sit down in parks, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is pretty interesting. People who were just strangers to me days ago, weeks ago, in some cases even minutes ago, were inviting me to sit down and share this drink, this herb, this powerful conductor of friendship, Yerba Mate. And I was thinking about, you know, could this happen in New York? Could this happen in the States? And yes, it has always happened in the States. It has always happened here in the United, United States of America. Ever since I was a kid, I was having circles, but I didn't really consider them circles. They just were events where my friends and I would sit down or walk around the neighborhood. We would drink 40-ounce beers, malt liquor. We'd pass around joints. We, you know, we'd, we would just be in a circle, in a, in, a, in a communion. And we never explicitly spoke about it. We were never like, all right, let's have... Uh, a circle tomorrow. It just happened. It just manifested on its own. And it's interesting because that sort of manifestation is also very inherent and an integral part of South American culture. They've always had these gatherings of people coming together in Argentina and Paraguay and Uruguay and just sharing things. You know, those cultures are all about food and of course they're all about mate and they're all about just coming together and being together. Uh, they never called it a circle. They just said, let's drink mate. Uh, let's go get food. They're very communal people in South America. And a lot of that rubbed off on me, actually. And I'm in, in, indebted to everybody in Argentina and Paraguay and Uruguay and Brazil, the people who I encountered over the past three and a half years. So thank you guys so much. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for helping to show me uh, what real communion and... and uh, sharing is all about. So when I got back to the States and I came back about four times and went four times in the course of three and a half years from Argentina to New York to Uruguay uh, and every time I came back to New York I started to think about you know let's drink mate let me tell my friends about mate and then I said let's have a circle Let's just come together in a circle and drink mate. And this whole idea of coming together and calling it a mate circle kind of just manifested. And it's amazing to see this culture of materos, mate drink, is forming here in my homeland, United States of America. Amazing, amazing, amazing what's happening right now. So let's talk a little bit about, just briefly, I don't want to make this video too long. What is a circle? The circle, as I said, you just come together. You get your mate, you get your bombisha, you get your gourd. Remember, this is also called a mate, this entire unit. And that's it. Come together. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever you guys talk about, you talk about. The circle is the conductor of openness, togetherness, friendship, connectivity. And those things are not subordinate to any particular clause. They're not subordinate to any particular dogma or uh, any particular tradition even or any particular 
a set of rules or protocols in which things have to happen and be regulated. No. The circle is self-containing. The circle is self-sufficient. What people bring to the circle, it acts as a vortex in which the materos sit and talk and discuss and minds open as we drink the mate. It is non-local. Yes, it is local to the extent that we are sitting down having this circle or wherever it may be in your town, in your city, your school. People are having them in high school now. People are having them in their jobs here in the States now. And what is built in that circle, which I also like to call building. When you're coming together, you're building, you're building, you're talking about things, you're elevating the mind, you're elevating the spirit. What is being built in those circles is going to reverberate outside of those circles like a ripple in a pond. And that reverberation is non-local. It is infinite. It is beyond space. It is beyond time. So what you are doing, whether you are alone or with other materos in a circle, because remember, you could be a circle of one, what you are doing is not inconsequential. It is of the utmost importance and it is having an effect on all other people people throughout the world. So I think it's very important, you know, when you're having a circle, build. Build upon positivity. Build upon, you know, what's going on in your inner landscape. Build upon what's going on in your neighborhood, your community. Bring your community together with Mate. Bring your family together with Mate. I can't tell you the countless numbers of people who I've met over the past three and a half years just because Mate was in my life. And Mati was almost the excuse for us to come together, build together, create these circles, and change the world one gourd at a time. This is Dave Mate, guys. Salute. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for supporting and being a part of Circle of Drink. I'm just in, a, in awe and in constant humility of what's happening, and I'm just honored to be a part of what's happening. Uh, thank you guys for creating so much on top of this little spark that I brought to the States. And thank you for continuing to spread Circle of Drink around the world. Uh, I'm seeing all the pictures, all the, the sweaters that you guys are wearing, all the stickers that you're putting up on your thermoses, uh, all the letters you're writing, all the love that you're showing. Uh, thank you so much. Please continue to spread mate. Please continue to have circles. And uh, what can I say? Salud. Ciao, guys.